In the previous lecture, we discussed the Fermi energy level of electrons inside solid metals that are at a temperature of zero kelvins, and we defined that the Fermi energy of our electron is the energy level of the highest possible quantum state of the electron at that particular temperature. Now, we actually stated what the equation was without deriving that equation, and in this lecture, we're going to derive the Fermi energy equation for electrons in solid metals. So we basically take some type of solid metal that has a certain volume and we bring that uh, solid metal to a temperature of zero kelvins. So now we want to derive the equation that will give us the Fermi energy of our electron within that situation. Now, to actually derive this equation, we're going to use an earlier result. We're going to use the density of states function. So basically, this is a mathematical function that is given by the following equation. So rho, which depends on E, is equal to this entire quantity. Now, this basically gives us the number of possible energy quantum states of the electron per unit volume per unit energy. Now if we plot this equation on the xy plane as shown where the x-axis is the energy of the electron and the y-axis is our density of states function rho of E, we get the following purple curve. Now if our energy, if our temperature of our solid metal is brought to absolute zero, that means the highest possible quantum energy state State that our electron will be found in is given by EF, which corresponds to the Fermi energy level. So basically, this is the highest possible value, and this is our lowest possible value. We're going to choose this to be equal to zero. Now, if we integrate, if we use calculus and integrate this curve from this lower bound to this upper bound, we get the shader region which corresponds to lowercase n divided by uppercase v. So if, if we integrate this function, we get the number of possible quantum states per unit volume. So we get n divided by v is equal to, we take the integral from our lower to the upper bound of this function with respect to dE. And notice the per unit energy term cancels out because we're essentially multiplying by our energy term. So let's actually take this function and replace it with this entire equation to get the following result. And now we can take our constant values and bring it outside of our integral. So we bring outside the 8, the radical to the pi, Planck's constant, as well as m, the mass of our electron. And we are left with the following result. So we're basically multiplying the constant by the integral from 0 to our Fermi energy level and we're integrating this. Now if we actually integrate and evaluate that integral, our result is as follows. So we see that n divided by v is equal to this quantity which can be rewritten in the following format. So now because we're looking for the equation for the Fermi energy, we basically solve for this quantity. So we bring this entire term to this side and we get the following result. And now we basically raise both sides to the power of 2 and then we raise both sides to the power of 1 third. And we get the following result and this cancels out. So, let's take this and let's rewrite it in a slightly different way, as shown in the following section. So, our Fermi energy, EF, is equal to, so we raise this to the power of two-thirds, we raise this to the power of two-thirds, and this to the power of two-thirds. So basically, we take this and split it. So notice, this simply gives us one divided by eight, 
This simply gives us h to the power of 2 divided by m, and this we leave it as it is. And we get the following result. So now we can combine these two terms, and we get the following equation that we defined in the previous lecture. So this gives us the Fermi energy given by this quantity of our electron in the highest possible energy quantum state inside our solid metal when it's found at a temperature of zero Kelvin. So basically this gives us the energy level of the highest possible quantum state of the electron in the solid metal when the temperature is zero Kelvin. So, H is Planck's constant, M is the mass of the electron, pi is a constant, V is the volume of that solid metal we're considering, and N given by lowercase n, it can, also uh, it can also be given by uppercase n, and that simply gives us the number of energy quantum states that electrons can have inside that particular solid metal.